Basically we're at a four wheel drive show, similar to the one here at Perth and my boss Wayne goes check out these tyres on the Toyo stand and they're massive 38 inch mud terrains and he goes it'd be great to throw some of these on the company cars and next thing I know I'm at head office picking up a, a couple of brand new LST D-Max and, and the MUX brand new cars that, that we bought and they um, yeah, had 26 k's on the clock so picked them up and took them straight to the workshop and basically got the angle grinder out and seen criminal all the time but uh, yeah to get those big wheels on them we had to do a fair bit of work and fabrication. All the bodywork is all custom, handmade, steel fabricated, guards, the doors on the MUX have been modified, the tray is all steel on, on the on the D-Max and the bumpers are all like a hand fabricated aluminium so there's thousands of man hours cutting and joining and folding all these bumper bars trying to make them fit. Total one-off one -off build is a, just a showpiece to really, I guess, when your mind goes crazy, this is what you, you can do. You yeah, have to go through a fair bit of work in terms of engineering and stuff to get them street legal. Obviously they're, they've got very, they're very high, I think they're about a seven inch lift. We converted the D-Max to a coil sprung rear end just to help it out with some articulation and really get the height into it. Plus we wanted to run the really big disc brakes all around. So they're based out of Sydney. So yeah, purchased them in Sydney and, and we took them out to do a photo shoot. Um, in the Southern Highlands and uh, took them through some creek crossings. We basically had water up around the bottoms of the door, so they're well and truly underwater when we're doing our photo shoot. At the photo shoot, we're sort of driving across the river path and um, Scotty, our other, other boss, he decides to turn right in the middle of the river crossing and, and just drive into the river and just driving downstream and we're like, is he actually going to float away or what's going to happen here? But yeah, they, they, they go everywhere, they've got plenty of travel and plenty of traction with those mud terrain tyres. So. So we basically have two teams with Team D-Max. We have a, an ag show team, and then we have a four-wheel drive show team. So these are part of the four-wheel drive show team. We have some low-ride two-wheel drive D-Maxes, which do the ag shows, do your Royal Perth show, your Royal Sydney, Easter shows, Adelaide. They do probably 25, 30 shows a year. And then this is a second tier to the, to the driving team. And um, yeah, these, these get transported with the four-wheel drive show stuff, and, and this is really their market. We debut them in Melbourne, um, obviously I've done the Melbourne four-wheel drive show, I've done one in Sydney, I've done Adelaide twice now, and now they're over here in Perth. Be sure to watch part two where I go for a more detailed rundown of the D-Max, link will be in the description below.